Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Gesture Overview. I'm no painter by any means, which I've proven many times here around and I assume sketches will be even worse because it kinda requires a different skill set, much more precise and imaginary, which that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> but I guess sometimes it's good to change yourself and go out of your comfort zone. So Gesture is a sketching drawing app where either alone or with friends you'll be checking out hundreds of high quality models to practice some figure drawing and someday put it on the DeviantArt. Mechanically it seems to be very much precise with the line work and pencil sketching on the panel. The whole app seems to be in black and white, maybe except for the menu, but that's a pretty interesting take to introduce some kind of ambience, unless it's sort of helpful to keep a consistent theme going on and not have a lot of distractions that could influence the art. I'm very much newbie in the stuff, borderline not know anything, <laughs> but going by the example of Vermilion experience, it would be very nice to have some sort of a tutorial or like guidance to kinda kick off the drawings or just simply learn it. It's also interesting it's gonna let you draw in 2 or 3D, so that could be very much transformative, as in I've never seen something like that, so not counting gravity sketch, which I think it's sort of industrial or engineering type of thing. This app seems to be the first in terms of its own genre and I'm looking forward to be impressed whether I know how to draw or not. <laughs> Let's go to the gameplay. So we have different starting points and I guess we'll do learn and then guided session which was what I was hoping for. Yeah, the rest is kind of like promote thing. <laughs> what do you mean video volume? I don't hear anything. Lazy brush. I mean, nothing's really happening. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's not like the recording is empty with the audio. The actual game is like that. All right, well, I guess there's nothing for me to do because I'm not gonna read everything like that. So let's just go back to this. One hour of pauses with increasing durations. Welcome to Gesture VR's guided drawing mode. Let's begin by selecting a model, and then I'll guide you through a structured series of 30 poses, each increasing in duration for a comprehensive practice session. I'll have to go on a limp and go with my instinct how things work. But it's a cute environment, pretty realistic I would say. It's not like there's a lot of stuff going on, but it introduces you to some kind of ambiance. <laughs> they all have names. You'll start with 11 30 second poses. These quick sketches are great for capturing the gesture and essence of the figure. Focus on the flow and overall movement rather than the details. Oh, what the? Ah, it has like intensity. How strong we will put the pencil down. Wait, that's not it. <laughs> So I need to delete this, no? Why does it lag? <laughs> it's almost the same.
like how in the hell you make concrete figures with that? <laughs> What are you doing, mate? It's very sensitive, like, I don't know... Oh my god! <laughs> How anyone is supposed to do this? I mean, I can always start from the ass and it's gonna be correct. Wait, what's guided here? I'm just randomly drawing lines. Oh my god, with him doing some impossible scenarios. What else do we have? We can change the colors, but I mean... If everything's in black and white, then why? I think I've seen that before. So this is more streamlined. And this as well depends... on how hard you press it down. We can export stuff. Well, it's an image, not necessarily this. I think this is pretty okay. Oh. You're going for a finale, huh? <laughs> what I'm supposed to do here. But those chicks are different to find. Next up are 10 one minute poses. With a bit more time per pose, start to define the basic forms and proportions. Keep your lines energetic and fluid as you begin to refine the figure structure. I mean, one minute is more reasonable. Is that one minute? I don't know about this. Okay, so it's essentially the same. I mean, I'm not a sketcher, so I don't know from where to start and... Yeah, <laughs> I suppose I can do this. Does she have a diaper or something? Oh, I can move. Good to know. But it's like some weird textures are going on to me. That's a lot of poses. Are those hundreds though? I mean, I guess male counts as well. I'm not sure why there's less. And who would want to sketch a skeleton? What the? Oh my god. Wait, 
We're changing the lightning. But they don't move. <laughs> Let me try to do something, but like... It's pretty much impossible for me specifically. I wonder if I can turn this. Well, if I actually completed the tutorial, I would know. You know what's better? Perfect. I mean, what's there to say, really? This is an app for professionals, nothing for newbies. And I don't necessarily know if you can learn something from it. I was kind of disappointed with the tutorial because it seemed like the voiceover doesn't work at all. Like it says video volume, but literally nothing is happening in my headset and this is just explaining to you the basic controls but not the essence of what's going on well i mean you can well actually no this site has some stuff well, uh, now it works well hello there my name is Stan Prokopenko, welcome to Proko. We are finally at the part of the course that you have been waiting for. Um, no. <laughs> so I suppose there's just a lot of preparation to actually get into this groove and fully utilize its tools. I can only joke around and do some bullshit on the board, but I don't know what I'm necessarily doing. It seems precise to me, I like the mechanic with the intensity, cause depending how hard you press or different shapes, it registers as such and I'm assuming you can do some good work here, but not in my hands at all. 